Hello, this is Catherine and Tanya of the Twin Flame Mystique 1111. Today we are going to uh, have a Twin Flame Lion's Gate 8 8 Spirit Session. Um, we're going to uh, do a reading and see what, um, you know, what's to come for us here in, in, the, in the Lion's Gate. And Lion's Gate has a lot to do with um, purging and releasing what no longer serves us. Of course, we're always doing this. Um, but uh, this is, um, what do you have to say about the Lion's Gate? So we're going to do this reading from the perspective of the Awakened Twin. Yes. Um, which is usually Divine Feminine, but not always. So however that fits in with your scenario. Mm -hmm. And the first card we're going to use, we're going to go see what the Soul Lesson card, or Soul Lessons are for the... Right. For the awakened and the unawakened. So for, we'll just, you know what? For the awakened, we'll just say divine feminine to make it easier. Right. Is that, uh, you know, just to make it easier. So the card that the, the divine feminine has is blame. Yes. I accept responsibility for my well-being. That's right. So, um... This is saying that it is so easy to give away the power to transform your life. So certainly there have been people along your path who have shaped you into who you are today, but you are solely responsible for your own happiness. Um, the, uh, the ego, the ego can be a very fragile thing, and if it comes under fire, the first instinct is to blame mm -hmm. an outside force. Victim consciousness weakens the connection that you have um, to your soul source. So the mindset says that I don't have the power inside myself to heal or to break free because um, someone else's power is stronger this is an illusion. So when you believe that someone else is responsible for your problems, that belief is the problem. And personal responsibility can empower you to change, to change your reality. So lasting transformation always begins on the inside and works its way out. And this is the difference between a reason and an excuse and a reason is valid and unavoidable unavoidable and an excuse is an attempt to shift that blame wow wow so and for the divine masculine or the unawakened twin mm -hmm. you have partially awakened twin perseverance somewhat awakened twin Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. All right. So, <clears throat> as a soul, for the Divine Masculine, so as a soul, you are on a mission in this physical dimension. And there, Oops. and you are the only one who knows the correct path to take. So your intuition, which is your connection to spirit, is your compass. You have the power to stay the course, and you are stronger and more determined than you might first think. And in order to experience many successes in your life, uh, you must mature and realize the strength within yourself and the quality of inner courage. Life doesn't just happen, we must make it happen. And it is natural for us in the human school to shy away from what we believe to be difficult because we concern ourselves with how others will perceive us. And we are afraid of failure and of ridicule or coming up short. So now's the time to make the proper change and take the risks and do things that you never thought that you could before. Your soul must learn to become aware of its inner strength, live, the joyfulness that your soul yearns for and engage in activities that you have always wanted to try but were afraid you'd fail at. 
your soul would not yearn for something that you couldn't accomplish. That is so true. So you have the strength and the fortitude uh, to be capable of greatness. Wow. So those are, those are excellent uh, cards to start with. Excellent examples of the yeah. divine feminine and the divine masculine. All right. The, the divine, yeah, the divine masculine a lot of times has like feelings of not being good enough. Yes. You know, and yeah. the twin flame journey, whether you're going through it and you're awakened to it or you're going through it and you're not awakened to it, mm -hmm. it it's hard. It's treacherous, actually, um, would be a good description. <clears throat> but the time you get all the way through, yeah, you know, it's like you're almost so beat down. <laughs> right. You know, you don't feel good enough for right. your for your counterpart. You know, we've been through so many lessons and so many different things and right. You know, it is like it wears you down a little bit. So the feminine is going needs through. to yeah commitment. commitment and that's commitment mm -hmm. to the journey commitment to yourself and commitment right. to your your twin because the commitment that you make to to this journey is the commitment that you make to your twin and the commitment commitment you make to yourself to your self-love self-healing right. self-worth is also the commitment that you make to your twin right. so this is very very important right on the masculine side, we have storm fields. So there's a bit of a struggle to get out of this karmic cycle. Yeah, there has been. There always is. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. easy. It's mm -hmm. not like you can just snap your fingers mm -hmm. and, you know, it seldom comes without some sort of strife. Right. Or... You do need to go through the self healing. So what we got in the crown of energy is the nine of wands, perseverance, not getting up, not giving up, mm -hmm. not giving up, not giving up. Mm -hmm. But the challenge, we have the devil. So the challenge is getting out of this karmic cycle, whatever right. that is to you or your, or to your mm -hmm. counterpart. Mm -hmm. In the past, there was confusion with the seven of cups, not knowing which cup to pick, you know, not knowing, uh, what the best option is and you, go ahead well usually the cup that looks the best is not the cup that you want because that's it's, right you need to always like, keep your um yeah what um yeah what you're usually attracted to so, for the Divine Feminine, we've got the Two of Swords, a Death card, and the World card. So, there's something that's needing to die. Something, <laughs> something that the Feminine is not seeing that needs to die. Okay. Because this cycle has to come to an end before you can move forward. Mm-hmm. And it looks like this has to do with your independent and oh, okay here it is it's like didn't i just see something that yeah. was like so for the feminine we have finances and career yeah all right that's going to be your codependency so this is something this cycle of codependency mm. is what needs to be it needs, it needs to, to end working. yeah, yeah. And it needs to end yeah because you know anything that you do you do for yourself, but it also affects your, your twin. So if you stay in a karmic cycle, your twin's going to stay in a karmic cycle. Right. You know, and it, it's not so much even a conscious decision, even though it is, but it's, it's energetic, right? So that's why when one twin breaks out of a karmic cycle, then the other twin is able to break out of a karmic cycle as well. Right. And then you're able to... Um, so if you're... Pull them in. And yeah, push pull dynamic. Yeah, if you're waiting, um, if you're waiting for your twin to get out of their karmic cycle, but you're still in yours, mm -hmm. you're gonna be waiting a really long time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's where you're needing to take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith and know that um, you are always uh, supported when uh, 
when you've made your surrender, when you've let go and let God and the universe, source energy, spirit, um, you know, uh, uh, take control and redirect you on your path, on the path of your, um, with your twin flame, um, with your life purpose. And something uh, to to also uh, talk about with this Lion's Gate is um, the purging, the purging that has begun. Um, we are feeling symptoms of this as well. We are just tired, and we're just wanting to stay in bed. We're very lethargic, and um, that's because we're about to start doing. The, the purging that is of the, um, you know, the, these um, portal, uh, Lionsgate portal activation days. And it's releasing everything and it's heavy. That's why we are feeling heavy is because we are going to be releasing some heavy energies. So try not to resist because it is for the greater good. And any emotions that come to the surface, you want to be letting those go as well because those emotions that lie dormant, okay, or that lay trapped are poison. They are poison for our bodies um, and um, we're meeting all sorts of resistance whenever we're holding on. Yeah, so you come, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's, I know it's it. different. Um, yeah. So along for the feminine, along with finances and mm -hmm. career, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So mm -hmm. what this means is that, you know, the, the financial uh, independence, you know, the breaking of the codependency, you know, that's all something we've all had to, <laughs> we've all had to go through sure. that, that cycle. Um, and you also got make the effort so, you know, you have to take these steps forward. If you want your twin to, to come towards you, if you want to, you know, become unstuck in this, in this journey, yeah. you have to take steps, That's right. you know, that you're guided to take, you right. know, what, whatever that is, <clears throat> you know, whether it's getting your own place or, you know, leaving the karmic family member, karmic spouse, karmic employment, whatever the case is, right. you can't just stay stuck in a situation hoping right. that, you know, some outside force will come in and change mm -hmm. things for you. It, I mean, it can, mm -hmm. you know, but who knows how long that's going to take whenever you can take the steps now to move forward in your journey. Exactly. And that's the card. That was of the feminine, that one, the blame, saying that I ex accept your responsibility uh, for my, my well-being. Um, but pay attention to both. You're listening to both uh, because, because of the balance um, that has to happen within the inner self. So it's the healing of both. You are needing to come into union within yourself have that yin and yang union of your uh, inner feminine and inner masculine energies. So, um, yeah, it, it's not all on, on, on either just the, you know, the feminine being the more awakened or all on the, the masculine. It's a group effort. It is a group you know, effort. And, and what, it's a what collective it, effort. What it well. looks like your twin is doing or not doing um, really should be irrelevant because you should be doing everything that you can to make this union happen. If you, if you want union, yeah, then you need to do everything you, you can surrender. to, make it, to yeah, make it happen. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love those cards. So the the feminist still has an owie. Oh yeah. And but the masculine's all in. So an let's owie. see. And in the future here, it you know, we have the three of swords. So there is going to be, you know, there's gonna be some pain, but there's also gonna be some healing done. So in this deck, the swords are out and the heart is starting mm. to heal. 
the heartbreak is really kind of coming from this is this is coming in so slow you know and we we just want instant gratification and we want things things to we happen do. right here right now yeah and you know it's that's human nature but they will happen a lot sooner yeah. if you put in the work that's right and that's where this card is you know the god and owie coming out for the um for the feminine collective um do you see the numbers up top the 29 it's the two and the nine or 11 and this is what i'm feeling is that in the owie being the feminine collective that has become a bit dilu uh, um, disgruntled, disillusioned, yes, yeah. and disgruntled because um, you know they being the more awakened, you know, you just you have this this plan, you know, for what you're feeling and what you're seeing and what you're knowing, and but it's gone slow. So if it's going slow for for you. Okay, um, it's because of, of this card too. Look, there's that card again that's going to tie into it. This card, the blame, is about giving your power away, right? And waiting for something else to happen. You're the one in control. Look, and this is the card here. Commitment. You're the one that, that's in control. So if there's anything that, well, I don't want to say control, but is the lead. Right, because there's always one that has to take the lead, okay? And that is you, feminine. That is you. There's no reason for you to be blaming anybody or to be here, oh, woe is me, okay? I got an owie. This is not happening fast enough or whatever. Um, if you're a twin, you're a twin, and you know you're a twin, and, and period. So now do the work. Do the inner work. And the inner work is releasing all expectations. Yeah, because, you know, if, if you come into this twin flame journey thinking that it's it's like a 3D relationship. No, no. You're gonna waste you're gonna waste a lot of time. Precious time. This is a journey. You right. have to navigate the journey. You have to navigate step by step as spirit guides you you know and lead it guides you and leads you along this path it's not as simple as you meet you know your soulmate and fall in love and y'all get married and live happily ever after that's not the twin flame journey it's about the work it's about the self-healing it's about the self-mastery it's about the ascension the and... twin flame you know the union right is you know that's the icing that's the icing on the cake but mm -hmm. you're not going to get there you know you're not going to go from a to c without mm -hmm. going through b in this equation that's right it's just it, the universe does not work it work like that it just that's doesn't right. work that way that's right so if you have expectations you know and they're based on 3d relationships your social conditioning, your social conditioning of, of, you, right. you need to drop that because right. this is not mm -mm. This is not that. No, it's not. And you can't treat it as such exactly. if you want to move forward on this journey. Exactly. You want to move forward in this journey. And have victory. Heal you. Take care of you, boo. And this is what? The card of? Victory. Victory. Well, there you are. There's a confirmation. So. Wow. There you are. So we have... Yeah, we have the, in the environment, we have okay. the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. Wow. So, you know, that is a very good, passionate mm -hmm. um, beginning. Yeah. It's available, but, you know, you have to take care of these karmic cycles first. You have to, right. you know, gain your independence. You have to leave the karmic situation. Right. You know, there's things, there's steps that you have to take. Um, right. There's a divine, perfect order to things. And everybody's journey is different. Our union is not going to look like your union. Right. Our union doesn't look like anybody else's union. Exactly. We didn't come into union like, like anybody else. Exactly. You know, so all of these, <clears throat> mm -hmm. as you're going through this journey, you really have to go within 
and you have to develop your own psychic abilities, your own discernment, your own yes. um, your own connection with spirit. Because until you can do that, you know, you're not you're not going to get too far. No, you're not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And um, and you all have. We all have as twins. We all have abilities we all have psychic abilities i didn't right. think i did at first but you know lo and behold yes i do yes that is your empathic gps internal gps it is called your intuition and um, that is your intuition is spirit that is spirit guiding you that is spirit nudging you okay <laughs> so let's get on to this final outcome here which I'm you know not too happy with uh -oh. we have the king of cups mm -hmm. we have the knight of cups mm -hmm. we have the ten of swords wow seven of swords wow <laughs> and the lovers oh wow okay so a choice yeah is going to be made yeah. between two people okay and <laughs> it could just be different for everybody but um, somebody's mm -hmm. somebody's relationship is going to end yeah right there's going to be a choice is going to be made and coming up onto the you know the lion's the gate the lion's gate the oh, lion's gate yeah. portal yeah you know th this is the time when things you know, when I started my spiritual awakening, it was during Lionsgate mm. of 2017. Yeah, that. You know, and it's always a, it it's always a bit, yeah, <laughs> it's always a pivotal point. It you is. know, along the journey. Yeah. Lionsgate so, how this final outcome actually works out for you as an individual, it really kind of depends on. You know how you deal with this these other karmic cycles and these other things that you need to be yeah. dealing with yeah you're sure because your yeah faith. because yes. you know like i said your twin's not going to move until you do that's right you know and if you're holding on if you're holding on to something too tightly yeah there you are you're blocking that natural flow yes absolutely from, from coming in mm -hmm. you know so I think, you know, it's always best to work on this energetic connection because looking at what they're doing on, on Facebook or, or social media really isn't helpful. It's not going to help you get into union. No, it's I mean, not. I know we're curious, and I was yeah. probably one of the world's worst, but it doesn't advance you along your path. No, it does not. Not to look in, not but, to be on, on, you know, the social media um you know, looking at comments or what someone else is going through. You cannot compare you, you know, your journey you, to anybody else. You really can't, you know, you really can't. And mm -hmm. I mean, it is good to be there for each other. Yes, not, there is. Not saying that. Find your soul family. Find your yeah, soul family. But as far as look, you know, looking, you. looking at what your twin is doing. Right. After you do all of your work for the day, after you balance your energies and your chakras and you do your healing and you dissolve all your karmic negative cords, and then you can look at it what they're doing on this. Well, exactly. You because know. And then you'll be in the state of, of being objective because whenever you're objective, you're, you're knowing that um, whatever your past um, has happened for you and not to you. And that's my favorite uh, saying from Spirit. And um, that is what's going to help you break negative side because that's what's going to help you um, look through a situation right and be the bigger person so um yeah it's yeah it's, it, this is a really interesting reading it but sure is. so w whenever you know you as the feminine or as the awakened whenever you take care let me get all these these cards you see up those here. up here that one too yeah that one i want to show that uh-huh mm-hmm when you take this blindfold off this one right here and you see yes that something has to die which is your codependency that's what has to die wow 
you have to end that cycle. The cycle. So that you can be independent. Plain, plain as day now, right there. Once you, you know, why would you wait for your twin to rescue you? Rec rescue yourself. Thank you. I, that's right. That's right. You can't wait. We don't. You don't have time to wait. Well, I mean, it's your union, but you shouldn't take the time to to wait and see what they're going to do. Right, because the two, or, that's not the twin flame relationship. That's not the twin flame. Path. You go forward on your path. Yeah. Your twin. Right. Is going to follow, and it doesn't matter if you've never even met your twin, or if you're not with the person you think is your, whatever right. the case is. Right. That's just how it works. Right. So, if you can do that, right, then that frees up the masculine to take care of you know to end this mess. Right. And then there. just and then just know if you are in the state of being um, rescued by someone and then they're not wanting to and they're running away, let me let you know. That runner chaser, that um, that uh, perception of what a twin flame relationship is, is not your twin relationship, okay? It is not with a twin flame. If you are in a runner and chaser dynamic, it is karmic because what's that saying that you... Um. When the going oh when the going gets tough the karmic get or the karmic gets going right that is right yeah that's right so that that right there should hopefully help you also in discerning the relationship or discerning what you are trying to defend okay are you defend trying to defend and not do the work through a a karmic relationship, a, uh, a karmic um, catalyst relationship, or false twin, or whatever you want to call it, um, or is it of a true twin flame relationship, right? Or true twin flame, um, period. And that this is all, you know, all that information you're yeah. going to discover along your journey. That's why they say, you know, no one outside of you can tell you who your twin is, and that's true. Exactly. Because that's not the journey. You right. know, if, if you know, we were to come in and say, well, this is your twin, or this is mm -mm. not your twin, mm -mm. well, we just did your journey for you. Right. You know, even if we could do that, you know, it's just you have to navigate the journey. You need to go be the one to experience the uniqueness of the synchronicities and um, that that your guides and your spirit and and source energy or the universe line up for you. Okay. For you. For you. Exactly. For you, not for anybody else. That's right. For you. It's for you. Year. We are all in our own unique journey and path, and. Here's another tip about twin the your, your the twin flame, um, and not the karmic. Um, the twin flames uh, at this time um, we've been coming together and collaborating with each other on a um, awesome. you know a, a soul healing level together. And uh, this has been the characteristic here lately of the um, the Twin Flame Collective. So you're you're still in a runner chaser type uh, uh, karmic you haven't relationship. You have to your twin and like you. Yeah, or, or you're. I'm not saying it's impossible, but um, however, however, it's not likely. Yeah, exactly. Not from uh, you know the people that we have worked with, what we've experienced ourselves, right? What we've seen, right? You know, there is no opposition. There isn't, um, you know, um, there just isn't. You come together. You are, you come together um, unconditionally. With a karmic, there are all sorts of conditions. And you're crying, and you're upset, and then you're, um, you know, then you're um, saying, I, 
that's it, I wanna give up, I'm going to cut it off with my twin flame or, or what have you. And those are not things that are that happen with the true twin flame. Right. It's not. So I mean they they might happen for like a very short period of time. A day? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe a few days depending on how Right. But and if that does, it's because uh, the spirit's trying, you know, you're getting the spirit smack right there and saying, hey, snap out of it. So let's talk about this. And this is funny, too, because this, this card actually initially came out in the reverse. So the king of cups, knight of cups in reverse. Something's not going like somebody planned. Exactly. Um, there you are. Release your expectations because this is not anything that you planned. So... Once this is over with, right? You know this this ten of swords, the seven of swords. What comes after that? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are going to be in union. Yes. These two cards came out together with the lo uh, the lovers and the Very the two good. of cups. That's union, and Very you know, good. like the the way I read cards is the way I read cards. It may not be the way you or anybody else read cards. Right. But I do it intuitively, right. and the cards are like a tool right? to use, and then the Spirit gives me the messages, you right. know, as far as what things mean specifically. Right. So, I'm getting, I'm, and I am getting that this, this mm -hmm. is the karmic. And then wow. what, obviously, what comes after. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This is the twin union. Wow. And, and what's the card that comes after what now? What's that card? The one this the is end? the ten of swords and the seven of swords. So that's, gotcha. that's lying, cheating, stealing, betraying. Mm -hmm. You know, All of that is karmic. So if you think that you're in love with your twin flame and you're going through all of that mess, uh-uh. No. So this could I suggest you surrender. Well, but this could be, this could go a couple of different ways. This could be, mm -hmm. the awakened twin could be ending a, a karmic, or yeah, this or... could be the counterpart. Yes. Ending something with the karmic, yes. so that this could happen. Either yes. way. Yes, this is a karmic ending. Either way, whether it's go. on the feminine or the masculine side. You know, right. however it applies to you. But what the universe is saying is that if you can navigate throughout this. Yes. Then this is going to be the result for um, for some of you guys. Mm -hmm. The masculine, or the, I'm sorry, the feminine from Archangel Michael got the decide to be happy card. Very good. It's up to you. And... The masculine got the eternal love. Wow. And all all of these cards correspond with each other. The feminine from all, you know, all these different decks. The feminine got elevation. You are making the conscious decision yes. to raise your vibration Good. of love. You have to do that before you can come into union. Yes. You can't just be laying around being sad and, and miserable. Right. And expect for your twin to come in. Right. Or waiting for a text message. Or whatever. Or whatever for, the case. Yes. You know, why are you waiting for anything? You shouldn't anything. be waiting for anything. That's right. You know, like, we have plenty of work to do without worrying about... It, exactly. And all this work will just get you there so much quicker. What is that? Eternal, Eternal love, love. That's for the masculine. That's so wonderful. The feminine leads and the masculine follows. Or the awakened twin leads and the unawakened twin will follow. Whether right. they realize it or not. Exactly. You know, and the masculine, he's all in right now. All in. And that's an eight. Yeah. That's infinity. X infinity. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. That's also for the masculine. Wow. So you can see, you, you can, can see wait. where the push pull yes. is right now. Yes. Right? Yes. You can see the karmic, you know, it's, whatever the karmic cycle is for you. It's happening. It can happen. Yes. And just because, you know, say your twin is in a karmic relationship and you're not, well, that doesn't mean that you're not, you know, trying to end the karmic cycle. It right, because be, it could be with the job. It could be with the codependency. It could be with the job. It could be with whatever it's, whatever it is. Move. Anything. Yeah. 
anything, mm -hmm. you know. So be open to the guidance that's trying to come through for exactly. you. Exactly. Right? And like we said, it's it's different. It's different for everyone. It sure Everybody is. is different. Everybody's twin is different. Everybody's journey is different. And we all hold our own individual piece to the puzzle, to that cosmic puzzle. So, for the twins, we got, these all three kind of came out together. Dolomite, stay strong in your faith. The positive outcome is Beautiful. dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Beautiful. Then we have Rose Quartz, Love Rose Life. Quartz. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Beautiful. For the heart. Chakra. And I don't know how you pronounce that. Progress, not perfection. Right? Ah, very and good. this says, don't compare yourself to others or judge That's yourself. True. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you have learned. Here you are, and that's, a repetitive message. It's, yeah, it's easy to get frustrated, you know, whenever mm -hmm. you're you're in the, you know, your twin flame groups or around other twins, and they're talking about, well, I did this and this and that, and, you know, it's easy to get frustrated. It's easy to get, um, Pad tight. Mm -hmm. you know, well, I, I haven't, you know, I haven't been able to achieve that yet or, or whatever, so am I not going to be in you? No, you know, it's almost to the point where don't listen to what everybody else says. Exactly. And rely upon your own That's right. guidance. That's right. More, at least more so than other people's. Right. Right. And whenever, um, you know, there is a message that you're wanting to, you know, that you are searching for, um, or let's say you do get a reading, um, it will be a validation for you. Exactly. That's and readings are good. Be. I mean, we all need readings from time to time. We all need readings on different yeah, things from time to time. Is, you know, Just don't guidance. rely no. on that, you know. Mm -mm. It's like a crutch. Absolutely. You know, and you Absolutely. don't need that. Absolutely. And if you're doing that, it's because you're not doing the inner work. I was stuck. At, I did that for a long time. Where I just relied on... You know, other people to tell me what my journey was going to be like. And then I finally learned. Yeah. That, you know, you that, that part of the journey was developing yeah. your own abilities. Absolutely. We're all superstars. That's right. We're all superstars. Mm -hmm. Every single last one of us. Yep. So for the twins, purification. Mm -hmm. White tea. You need to make sure you keep your energy. The white tarot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Right, Tara. I don't mm -hmm. have my glasses on. That's okay. <laughs> it yeah. looked like tea. Maybe white tea is purifying. I don't know. So let's get... Yeah. So the last card it's out... It's about purifying your intentions. Okay. We got, for the twins, number 70, heaven. Lovely. And I have no idea what that means, so... This is from the Adjourn Journey and of this Love. Is, this is the, the card right here. It's beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen that card. I don't think I've ever it's seen that card either. So it's really pretty. What, beautiful. Number Heaven. Yes. Um, this is just a beautiful deck. Period. 70. Oh, 70. Yeah, 70. I know I need to put my glasses on too. <laughs> hmm. Gorgeous card. The, yeah, they're all so pretty. Mm -hmm. You are meant to live heaven. Yep. Now. Yep. Not later. Right. Sometime after you die. What use is this life and body if not to live heaven now? Mm -hmm. Look for the mad divine genius in all that is, especially the puzzling parts of your life that make you scratch your head or tear at your hair or scrunch up your face. Yeah. And scream with frustration. Mm -hmm. Those are the places in which the divine is saying, Here, heaven is hiding. Let's unveil it together. Let me show you. Let me unveil your own mad divine gen genius right here. Look for heaven, even in hiding. It will not withhold itself right. from you for long, beloved. It wants to be known by you. This oracle brings you a special message. The enlightener is calling you to more, yes. to more, to more. Yes. More divinity, more love, more acceptance, more embrace of life itself. Yes. There is no limit in what is being offered to you from the divine lover calling to you, the beloved. Rejoice and know that the dance of love between you and the divine 
is removing of veils of illusions one at a time yeah. until you behold each other naked and true, mm -hmm. finally to discover you are each other, you are love. Oh. That was like the most beautiful thing ever. Is that the poem? Yeah, you want to read the poem? Yeah. You have your glasses on. Yes, I love the poems. That is beautiful. That was so beautiful. I love it. I love that. Put that card aside. That is beautiful. Um, and we love this deck, The Journey of Love. It's Alana Fairchild. Um, this is the, the book, a, a Journey of Love. Looks a little dark there. Um, because there's a poem at the end of every, um, you know, the explanation of every card. The poem for the twin flames of this card in heaven is the sky ablaze with morning light on silver wings of birds in flight and gratitude a tear released a knowingness embrace at peace she speaks to those that gla glaze below ancestral wings which call my soul to open hearts and soar above in awe the winds await this love that's heaven beautiful beautiful it does really just doesn't get much better than that. no no it doesn't so that is the message if you would like a personal reading, yes. If you're if you're stuck on your journey and and yes. need to know like what what you can do to move forward, what you can do to bring in your twin, um, closer to you, mm -hmm. everything, anything like that, then go ahead and contact us on our website, yes. TwinFlameMystique1111.com. You can book a session with us. Um, we have a variety of services available. Yes, and this is called the Spirit Session. So, um, well, all right. So, um, happy journey, happy navigating through this um, Lion's Gate um, uh, Ascension um, Activation Portal Days. Because um, it's going to be a ride. Don't resist, or it's going to be that much harder. Um, in the portal, in the Lion's Gate portal, um, we are purging, purging, and purging. So, um, yeah, go ahead and give us a call. Give us a try. All right. Uh, thank you. Like and subscribe, please. We are still growing our channel. And have a blessed evening or day wherever you're at. Thank you.